One last thing I want to talk about, I'm not going to play with them today, but I did want to talk about it a little bit. Some of the other things that are coming out, breaker wise. Uh, this is made by the same company that made, makes those daggers that I'm just so thrilled with. It's a curved blade. Right now it's rigged out as a katana. Do you have your other guard set? The cool part about it is, and this is not the way it came, we just put this together because we're going to do with some katanas and just to show that it's out there and available. Um, but what can also be done with it, just a second, there we go. Here, the other thing that can be done with it, yeah, you can, you may not be able to get it apart. Okay, don't worry about it, don't worry about it, don't worry about it. moment for the strong man competition. Yeah. No, 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 it's okay. It originally came as a sham shear. It's got a guard like that. It's pretty cool, single hand curved blade. They move very, very well. They move, yeah, they move, um, uh, they flow like a real blade does. It's just amazing. In closing, I thank you all for your time. You've been a most attentive audience. I really appreciate it. Um, I hope that, uh, I hope that I've answered a bunch of questions. I hope I've allayed some fears and things that I know people have about this system. Um, and, um, and I would like to, uh, if possible, take questions if you have any. Um, I know we went pretty fast on some stuff, but um, I would love to answer questions. So this time I throw the floor open to y'all. How many are in your local group? Uh, our local group has about 85 paid members and another 30 or 40 that are not paid at this time, but play quite a bit. The average practice night for us is about 60 people on average. Sometimes a little more, sometimes as much as 80. But normally, minimum is normally about 60. Every week? Every week. How many travel to uh, Antioch? Um, I think we've got, well, I know I've got, every, I think just about everybody here has an Antioch rapier card. Um, we've got another probably 10 people that go also, so 25, 25 people go travel from time to time at least, yes. Do you have connections to other group and the groups in Calentier? Um, through the Calentier Fence, uh, Yahoo groups, uh, talking to some other people that way. Um, I've been in contact with, uh, I've been in contact with some people in Nebraska that were asking about it, asking for information. Um, we also have uh, some of our students and whatnot, some of my students that have gone, that go to other you know, universities around the area, um, and they're, they're always out you know, talking and playing too. Um, I've got, um, where did Andrea go? She just left. Um, one of my girls is, uh, is a student instructor at Emporia State now uh, with Collegiate, but they also do this now because she's into it. Um, they, they've jumped into it and like the idea of it. Uh, as an example, and I know there's others, and I'm just drawing a blank right this minute. So. Um, yes, sir. Uh, I was going to say, I, I beg your pardon, I, I got back at the end of the demonstration. That's thing, okay. But, um, so now, your group is a you know, non society affiliated group, or. or, or right. Um, you, you because, with other right, because of the. In their, in their Yes, exactly. Because uh, be, because of the uh, uh, because of the uh, of not having rapier here in Calentier was how the group was originally formed. Okay, yeah, that's <laughs> yeah, that's not a bad idea. Some history. Um, sorry, Your Majesty. So, uh, which is the primary period in this manuscript that you choose to work from? Uh, a fair question. Um, I use uh, Saviolo quite a bit. Um, I use a lot of Agrippa for the pictures because the, the woodcuts, the pictures, a picture speaks a thousand words. I mean, you learn so much more by just looking at that picture and saying, okay, well, this is what he was talking about. Um, I, um, I use those two quite a bit. Um, I use, uh, I, I, because of Puck and Mary's work with, uh, uh, with the, this, this, the, uh, the cross and the circle, with the Spanish footwork, uh, has led me back to Pacheco and um, um, Dark Eye. I can't remember the other one now. Um, I just recently picked it up and have been looking it over, just drooling over it because it's such a neat work. Um, a few others that I work with that are in period but not in period. They're five to ten years out of period, frankly, but they are culmination works from 30 or 40 years of fencing master's work. Uh, would be Capoferro, Fabrice, and Giganti. Um, 
And honestly, my normal fighting stance when I teach, I normally teach Giganti, but I didn't want to reference it today for obvious reasons because this is an so I'm trying to stay directly in period. Um, but Giganti does reference the circle of defense, and I do use that a lot because it works extremely well. So you are talking about later 15th century time periods. Mostly, right, right, exactly. Late 1500s, uh, Grupo's uh, 1553, uh, Morozo's actually a little earlier, and I can't remember the date on it, 1520s or 30s, I believe. So about, about the last 100 R Roughly the last 100 years, years. yeah. Um, really, um, as Leonardo were talking about, and I were talking about today, he's got a book, um, and I've seen other pictures of it too. Rapiers, pictures, existing copies of Rapiers are back to around 1490, <laughs> roughly. Um, I, I, I don't know of any much earlier than that, but that's pretty pretty safe at the last 100, 110 years. I, I see that you have mostly the rapiers and mostly the curved the curve blade that you mm -hmm. but do you use any type of saber type work at all, or prim primarily using daggers and rapiers and things of that sort? Pretty much using rapier and dagger. Um, I, my, my personal opinion is the heavy rapiers move much better. They, they And I did address this sort of now, so I, you did miss that part. Um, starting out... Starting out 10, 15 years ago, 10 years ago when I started this, and, uh, and talking with people from the last 20, 30 years, pays and foils, when you're using them with the period text, don't move correctly. They're not, they move too fast, they move in a different style. They're really big for a later age. The heavier blades move when you start putting what the work is saying, you put it together, they, they work. Well, they the absolutely work. The work isn't necessarily designed for that type of blade. Exactly it's right. Primarily in the schooling of the rapiers. Right, exactly right. exactly right. Exactly right. Now, I, I did want to go back and address one other thing. Even though that we're not here playing in, there are many of our members, many of our, of, our of, the, of the club that belong to the SCA and play in the SCA quite a bit. Um, and that's, yeah, I mean, we, we definitely have a lot of crossover. I'm oh, sorry? Oh, well. Actually, you were there before I was, Maeve. Okay. My, the way I got into yeah. My question with your questions and His Grace's questions are, what does this have to do, have to do with an A&S okay. class? Fair enough. Because this is not a rapier demo to show people how to fight that, since that is an illegal thing in this kingdom. Right. I understand that. However, the scope of this class is very, very circumscribed. Okay. Thank you, Majesty. I'm You're trying welcome. to stay well within those bounds. I know please. you are. <laughs> and, and we're trying to steer you out of danger with some of the questions, which are still good questions. Thank you. But in a public forum such as this, they're not germane. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you. Any other questions? Anything else? So I am most familiar with silver. Where does silver tie into all of this? Uh, silver is wonderful. Silver has three books out. Uh, and the most, the most famous one was from 1599. And basically he is teaching how to defend against rapier. Okay. And with cut and thrust, and that's the cool part about cut and thrust. And honestly, I haven't had the chance to get the equipment to do that yet. One of my first thoughts was in doing an ANS demonstration was to do a rapier fighter versus a side sword fighter, mm -hmm. because that's what silver teaches, sword and board. Correct. And they're great. I mean, it's a great system. Um, I've actually trained in that somewhat, but I don't have the equipment to do it at this time. Um, and that was one of my dreams to do that, because it was such a neat fight. But again, that's going to be an all-out kind of fight thing, as opposed to, you know, showing it, we can show, we, we're going to do it all out first, learn what the moves will look like when we get done, and then back up and say, okay, dissect it back to where we can show it in this format. Um, I, I must... You know, stress this that I am primarily a fighter first. I'm not a and a teacher, but I'm not a good choreographer. Right. So some of the stuff, if you understand that, you understand why it ended up looking the way it did sometimes. Uh, and please bear with me on that. And I, for those of you that have bared with me, that I appreciate it. I appreciate your latitude on it. 